After I brush my hair, I will wash my face with just water. <laughs> if I wash my face with too many products, it will get too dry. And then it will overcompensate the oil. And then it will be super wet. And then I'll be using the Beauty of Jozon toner. I don't know if it's like the climate here, but I think it like absorbs so quickly onto the skin. Because I didn't bring a lot of skincare here and we got these skincare the first day, right? So after that, every day after just me using the skincare that I got here, that I'll be using this. I'm just gonna be using two drops because I don't want my makeup to be tacky. Also this morning, there has been sirens rain nonstop. I don't know what's happening over here, but it was kind of scary. They ultimately got me out of bed. And I'll be also using their sunscreen. This is starting to look like commercial, but it's not, I swear to God. I also really like the sunscreen because it's so light and it doesn't really leave a white cast. I'm always so scared of Asian sunscreens because they always leave a white cast. And I, I'm looking so scary. But not with this one. So as always, we will not be applying foundation. It just makes me feel stuffy if we have to wear a mask. So we're just gonna be putting on my brows, char from Benefit. I usually only use the brow gel and I don't draw the shape of my brow like intentionally with the brow pencil because I'm lazy and I don't know what shape to draw. So I usually only do that and I um, cut my excess eyebrows. And then we're going to be using a OG lash Clipper. I don't know what that's called. Curl curler. And we're gonna be putting on lashes. And once they are curled, we will use the 3CE waterproof long and curl mascara. And this is literally the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. Because I used to use like I don't know what brand that I used to put that on the screen please. I used to use that brand that makes your lashes super thick and I thought that was so crazy because I like longer lashes instead of super thick. I just spent the longest time looking for a mascara that would make your lashes just long but not super thick and I think I found it and this one just makes your lashes super long. And I think this suits the Asian style of makeup so well because she looks cleaner and not too clumpy. Um, even though I don't apply them with super masterful hands, so they might end up a little bit. And I'll be using this down on the Fusi liquid blusher in classic mood. And my blush today. It's just something that I got yesterday. I usually go for like orangey tones on my skin. I just don't like it when it's too red. But <laughs> this looks like concealer. <laughs> Maybe I'll apply more. Yeah, I don't recommend this for people who have darker skin tone than I do. <laughs> because you will not be able to see it. This sucks for anyone who is not white. After you layer it, it's like kind of good. So then I'll be putting on my deodorant that actually I don't recommend this brand, so don't use this brand. <laughs> this is what we used to do in the day, back in the day. And that will be it for my makeup routine. I know you're thinking, bitch, this is so simple. This does not warrant a video. So this is why it's only a segment of a video. And the reason why I don't do a lot of makeup is because first of all, I don't do my makeup a lot in my day-to-day -day life anyway. And second of all, is when I'm on a vacation, I don't want to pay too much attention to 
my makeup and have to touch up and stuff so i just do a really simple makeup routine and you can tell that there are blemishes on my skin and there are uneven skin tones but personally i just don't care enough like i do care i don't care enough to make myself uncomfy for the entire trip or the entire day so i just don't do anything about it and i just convince myself to be okay with that anyway so yeah that is it for my makeup routine daily mirror <laughs> daily mirror this was a very slow day so we woke up super late again as per our weekend lifestyle first thing first we went to the mangwon market by subway it was actually really stressful because you had to walk through huge crowds through the market and also when you're like choosing the stores to eat at you don't know which one is the best and when you want to order you, you can't just stand there because they won't ask you if you want to order you have to tell them that's what i observed anyway because we stood there and then other people just came in and ordered like a normal person <laughs> yeah and also we expected to just only pay by cash there because it's like a market kind of place but uh, most of the stores i think all of the stores do accept card so we were able to pay with card after we got a bunch of stuff we got what did we get we got tteokbokki we got kimbap jjigeokbal some other um snacks as well and then we went to this place called the mangwon cafe cafe mangwon where you can sit down and eat if you buy a drink there so we got a uh, black tea lemonade for my sister and i had a tamong ate and then we sat down and ate the food that we ordered and that was our lunch After we finished eating because we have a lot of food on our hands, so we decided to come back to the hotel and put them down. But little did we know, we were about to take a multi-hour nap because we were so tired for no reason. Maybe it was just like eating. We took a nap and then it was time to head out to eat again. It was a day of living the pig's life. And we took a bus that was like around 21 minutes to the place that we wanted to go where we ate some eel they had literal live eel outside of the restaurant and they will fry it for you they will cook it for you and it was really good but it was really really oily like i'm not kidding like when you first sit down they're gonna give you a bunch of pantan and i was like i never eat the pantan because i'm just not about that life i don't like the vegetables <laughs> except for kimchi so i didn't eat it and when the eel was finished i started eating them with the lettuce and i was like oh my god this is so oily there's no way we could finish two eels like as two people i was like on the verge of dying because it's so oily you started feeling like like even though you're not full you're like i can't have any more i made the life-changing decision to start eating the banchan i had some ginger and i don't know what what that's called and that was so slay and i also ordered a cola to share with my sister then we were able to finish all the eel i think it was mostly thanks to my sister but luckily we weren't um we didn't embarrass ourselves by not finishing any of the food next to us were a group of four men and they ordered so much food they started with like four eels like one eel each and then they also added more eels so i was like do you do you want some because i'm like kind of full we discovered this restaurant on youtube by a hong kong youtuber i don't know if that's why but there were a lot of hong kong people there <laughs> when we were leaving there there were one and then when we were in there there was another couple and i don't know i'm just saying like before we entered the restaurant it was kind of empty but after we went there it was full so
We took a taxi today. We downloaded this app called Cacao Tea for Cacao Taxi. We called a taxi to our hotel to pick us up and take us there because it's kind of far away. So if we take a subway, it's gonna take like an hour or so. So we tried to use the Cacao Tea app because I don't have a Korean credit card, so it's a little bit complicated. Normally, if you have a Korean credit card, they will just deduct the money from your card like you would in the Uber app. But I don't have a Korean credit card, so I was like struggling a little bit because all the guides that I found online says you can pay with cash or like just on the taxi. Like even if you don't have a Korean credit card, then I was like struggling because every single option that I click into asks you to like enter your card information. And then my sister figured out that the cash or pay the taxi driver directly option is only available for the general taxis or the black taxis so like the more fancier taxis so then we took the black taxi to the cat cafe and it was like a 20 something minute ride and it was really pleasant as well and we stopped right in front of the cat cafe and then we went in and that was the start of our amazing day. So the cat cafe is called Koyangi Chongwon, which means cat garden. You just drive there or take a taxi there. I don't think there's like a more convenient way to go there because it's like hidden in like a neighborhood. And when you go in there, there's like a double door. So you go in, like if you have multiple people, you all go in through the first door and then wait for the first door to close and then go through the second door and then you can go in and pay for your little ticket that also qualifies you to get one drink and then they will give you a huge bag to put all of your belongings in there and they will give you a number as well so you will know how to get back your bag and the reason why you have to give them your bag is because the cats will scratch your bags and then you are ready to go play with the cats and there's an indoor and outdoor area and the outdoor area has a second floor as well so you can go up the slope or the stairs to go to the second floor and there are more than 100 cats there i think they're all rescues they might not look pristine but they're all really really cute and they are all really really friendly the owner does tell you to not touch the cats that has a necklace on because they just don't like being touched so that's something to keep in mind of but all other cats are really friendly like pretty much once you sit down or like kneel or like sit on the ground some cats will come and approach you and that's really really cute when i visited cat cafes in like japan or in korea the times before i don't think the cats were like i don't think they liked people <laughs> at all so you'd have to like go approach them really slowly and you touch them like for one second and then they leave but for this cat cafe they really really love people and i think maybe it's because they have so much space for exercise that their mental health is better and you can also get the sense that the owner or the staff who works there really knows the cat well they know first of all they know all 100 something of their names they will introduce you to them they will talk to you about what they like what the specific cat like that you do like maybe pat them on the on the butt maybe scratch their chin whatever they will know all of that and they will tell you that and that's just really cute because you can really feel that the cats are happy there even though some some of them um fought we witnessed two fights aside from me and my sister all other visitors were korean so maybe this isn't yet a very touristy spot yet all of the other visitors that are there are really respectful and we actually um i eaves eavesdrop on the conversations of the children and their parents over there and some of the kids were like really impatient and they really want the cats to sit on their laps and for the cats to go and interact with them and then all the parents were like oh they will come to you if they want you to touch them and just be patient and wait for them to come to you because like that's just how cats are and i just thought that was really heartwarming to see because i don't know it's sometimes 
like especially after we went to the Samyet cafe a few days ago and seeing them being confined in such a small space it's really heartwarming to see these cats having their own space to like sunbathe to run around to fight they just look so happy so because we had so much fun there we stayed there for like three hours <laughs> Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn